Excuse me. Okay. Ah, oh, great. Eh. That's how to sit this way. Son. That's what I'm gonna suck about having. <clears throat> anyway, ignore the sun. I just got back from watching Zombie Land Double Tap. Now, I know my Joker review is all over the place. It was more of a rant than it was a review because that movie kind of got to me. And uh, I guess I'll announce it here. Um, when it comes out on Blu-ray and DVD, I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to rewatch it. Because when I went in to see the Joker, or Joker, whatever it's called, I had my mind set on a particular kind of movie. I wanted a movie on a comic book character, the Joker. I wanted it to be like, just like the comic book character, you know what I mean? Sorry, I have to take the sound off. And the comic book character. And clearly, the uh, Joaquin Phoenix and the director of the movie forgot it was. The guy who did the Hangover films, which I like. Apparently, they had a different film in mind. And <clears throat> it's not the movie I thought I was going to get. So, what I'm going to do... Hey, yeah. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to buy the Joker when it comes out, or Joker when it comes out. I'm going to rewatch it with a different mindset and give a, a what drum dumps would call a revisited review of it. Maybe I'll be, maybe it'll be more fair, okay? But let's get to Zombie Land Double Tap. I don't need to revisit a review on this. I love this movie. And I'm going to go back to, like I said, the regular format where uh, spoilers will be the end. I'll give a warning. So, you know, after my uh, after my rating... It'll be the spoilers will be after the rating, so uh, yeah. So just know I'll give you a warning afterwards. So what is the story? Is always the story is that um ten years later, almost ten years later, uh, our group Columbus, Tallahassee, Little Rock, Wichita are now. You know, they're still roaming the earth. And oh, I want to correct something, okay? I guess I just assumed that those four and Bill Murray were the only humans left. Although I'm kind of stupid because they showed in the trailer Madison and Berkeley and Rosario Dawson. And like I, I mentioned Madison and Berkeley, or or Madison at least. And I didn't mention Berkeley. Well, I forgot about Rosario Dawson until she showed up in the movie. And I'm just like, oh, I forgot about them. There are more humans than just the four of them and Bill Murray, but from the first one, like I assumed. So I apologize for anyone who would like wait, a minute, who would, who would probably thought, well, wait a minute, there's more than these those four. I'm sorry, I just assumed. Um, so the, uh, you know, I, I, everything I'm gonna tell you is like from the trailer, basically. They're, you know, they're in the White House, and then stuff happens. Uh. I don't think this is a spoiler, so I'll say it here. Um, the one thing that I was kind of uh, against in the first one, but I didn't hold it against the movie because that movie's awesome, was the fact that Little Rock Wichita kept leaving. And I thought, okay, so the second one's not going to do that because they're a family, right? They're not going to run away. Well, something happens that triggers. I won't get. I won't. I won't mention that till the mention what it is until the spoiler part, but something happens that triggers Wichita to grab her sister and take off. And as you know, Little Rock then takes off anyway, goes with Berkeley. They meet Berkeley, and I think that's even in the trailer that they're, they're together by themselves. And they, So they take off again, but I didn't even think of that. I thought they were all together when Berkeley came along, but uh, no. Uh, I, I'm in the theater, and I'm, even, I'm, I'm saying... Really? Again? They're doing this again? That's the one thing that I did not like from the first one, but I didn't hold it against it because I'm like, you know what? It's, it's you know, it's a character thing. It's, it's a character building thing, and by the end of the first one, they should have been over that. But they brought it back in this one, and that kind of 
you know, put the film down for me. I didn't think that that, that should have they should they should have done that. I mean, Burke or um, Little Rock, obviously, but she's younger than um, Wichita, so she's still learning. I thought maybe you know because she grew up like that where they just take off. Maybe that's what she's used to, and that's what the whole lesson thing. But yeah, guys. You know, and, uh, uh, let's see what else can I tell you. Uh, you know, they had that, uh, clones, basically. Luke Wilson and Thomas Middleditch, uh, is the clones of those two. They don't last long. I won't say how, you know, but they're not in the, I'll just say they're not in the movie that long. Uh, Rosario Dawson is living in a Elvis, you see the Elvis stuff on, on on the trailers and stuff. So she lives in an Elvis museum, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> and uh, I guess I'm like, what else? Kind of cool. So what else? Yeah, it's, this movie is pretty good. Uh, so okay, let's let's do the let's go through the goods and the bads here. Uh, the soundtrack is good as always. Uh, it got me going, you know. The beginning of the movie is literally like the first part of the trailer where they're going, walking up to the White House, they're beating up the zombies, and they go in the White House, they do all that stuff. And yeah. And there's a, a climax with the zombies. And, you know, <clears throat> it's basically, you know, the climax is similar to the first film. They're up somewhere high, and they're surrounded by zombies, and they need to get rid of them. Basically, is what happens. Uh, what else can I say? The uh, acting, all right, acting all around. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg, great. Rosario Dawson's great for the short part that they have. Uh, um, Thomas Middleditch and Luke Wilson. Just like Tallahassee and uh, Bert, er, Columbus, Emma Stone, great. Uh, I think of a name now. Abigail Breslin, great. Even the uh, who's the? Uh, there's one more I'm thinking of. Oh, the uh, Zoe Deutsch. Now she, her character is annoying. But she's supposed to be annoying, so I'm guessing she's doing a pretty good job. Um, yeah, and something happens with her character, and I'll get into the spoiler section. But yeah, pretty good performances all around. Am I forgetting anyone? Oh yeah, Woody Harrelson. Once again, he's the best part of the movie. He is the best part of this movie and I, I think now I need to start watching more Woody Harrelson movies because this is what do I have for Woody Harrelson movies I got Zombieland and Kingpin and Natural Born Killers I think are the only ones I have with him in it wait he's in like the Hunger Games right so I have I have Catching Fire no I have The Hunger Games the first one I said that I could have put no I have Hunger Games the first one somewhere uh, they're okay, but um, yeah. Oh, and Venom for that small part. I can't wait after after you know watching Tommy and again and watching this one. I can't wait for him to be in Venom. That's what I'm gonna look forward to most is Woody Harrelson's part in it. And I hope it's not a throwaway part. I hope he has a big you know he's, he's supposed to be the villain. So I was good because he was just fantastic. It's Tallahassee in this one. Absolutely fantastic. Um, anything down? Well, like I said, the whole they run away thing. Um, negatives, negatives, negatives. <clears throat> um, and that's the only thing. Just like the first one, but I didn't mention it because I didn't drag it down for me. It dragged it down a little bit. In this one, the whole them running away. Uh, 
Guys, I don't think I can go any further without spoiling. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a 9. 9. Say like Tallahassee. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. <laughs> 9 out of 10. Okay? I loved it. Absolutely. Uh, so now, we're going to go into spoilers. Alright? In 3, 2, 1. You're watching now. You either don't care about spoilers or you've seen the movie. So, like I've said, um, uh, what happens is uh, Columbus proposes to um, Wichita and she like freaks out and they both, the girls leave and that's what kind of got me. I'm like, really? We're doing this again? I don't think it was necessary. They should have, you know, Come on, got over this. But then they meet up, meet Berkeley, and then uh, uh, there's a scene where Tallahassee, it's Christmas, but it's only November, uh, and he gives her a gun, and she wants to take off. And then she takes off from Wichita, Little Rock takes off from Wichita, and uh, she goes to Berkeley. Uh, to Graceland. So now they're off to Graceland after leaving the White House. But, um, they meet, uh, I guess I, should, I, I could have said this part in the non spoiler section, but they meet Zoe Deutsch's character. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> what was her name? Madison. That's right. At, per, apparently, she's been living in a freezer for a while at a mall. Somewhere, but they meet her, take her back. Uh, this is when I, they already, you know, the girls already left. And Jesse Eisen, she wants to sleep with Jesse Eisenberg in this movie with Columbus. And he's hesitant. I'm like, dude, take it, man. Your girl left you, right? You, yeah, you proposed to her. You had this relationship for like 10 years, which I'm assuming this takes place like. Within the right time frame. So it's 10 years. So they're going to go 10 years. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'll give you that. They're going to go to 10 years. So why is she so afraid of being, of being proposed to? I don't know. But, like, if they've been together 10 years and she's got commitment issues, I don't know. I guess I have to look it up. But I'm assuming it, it's the exact... The exact time frame, you know, exactly 10 years or so. Uh, but he does eventually, you know, do it with Madison. Uh, and then they hear a noise. And Tallahassee and Columbus go check it out. And, well, she came back. Um, uh, Wichita came back because... Uh, she took, or uh, Little Rock took off with Berkeley, so they gotta go and save her now, but they gotta take, uh, Madison with. She's not happy to see that, because she actually, you know, she used the excuse that she had to get weapons, so, just so she could go back to them. And, good okay, sure. And now he sees that she's... And now I can see now why she's mad. Now I think about it. If they've been together 10 years, like the, like between, like the space between the film's 10 years, then maybe, maybe I can see why she was mad. But this, the time span between this has been a month. They left and it's been a month since they left. Since Wichita and Little Rock left. So, you know, that kind of thing, it's been a month. So why shouldn't he? you know, move on. He didn't think they'd see that he'd see them ever again. So, or her ever again. So why not move on, right? So, they go to, they, they go to Graceland. On their way to Graceland, um, they're eating like trail mix. The girls are eating trail mix. And, um, and, and, and I, I called this too. Because I'm sitting there and she starts to, uh, she starts to, uh, Madison starts to freak out, act weird, start throwing up, and they say, "Oh, she's turning into a zombie." So 
Columbus has to go shoot her, and we don't see <clears throat> her get shot. He just is here to gunshot. No, I'm sitting there though, where she's having that, and she's turning red, and her face getting all puffy, and she's like, the so like her tongue swollen up. I'm like, that's just an allergic reaction. And they're freaking out like she's turning into a zombie. I'm like, that's just an allergic reaction. She needs an EpiPen or something. It's just an allergic reaction. And they make it seem like, you know, they killed her. And they were leaving a the trailer. They ain't got no trailer because the trailer's broken. So they get, you know, they have the regular car. And then they, uh, trailer, they ran over it. And, um, yeah, so they get in the car, back in the car, they drive, they get to Graceland. <clears throat> and that's where they meet Nevada. Played by, they get to Graceland, but the, they found out the Graceland was destroyed, which pisses off Tallahassee. Uh, there's one thing, though, that I, I want to say is that they dropped the whole Twinkie thing. And I don't know why. The whole focus of, of Tallahassee in the first one was about getting a Twinkie. He never got the Twinkie. So why did they drop it? It should have been another run. There should have been a running joke. He should have kept with the Twinkie. I don't know. Um, but I don't know. Uh, so they get to, uh, this museum, and they find out that Nevada, played by Rosario Dawson, is uh, owns the place. Tyler has to sleep with her, and the next morning, that's when Thomas Middleich and uh, Luke Wilson show up. They're oh fuck if I can remember their names. Uh, Albuquerque and Flagstaff, and then they turn into zombies. Looking, and I'm like, this is when, you know, they start turning into zombies and spitting off and stuff. I'm like, oh, maybe she did turn into a zombie. Turn into a zombie. Okay, maybe I was wrong. So they turn into zombies. Oh, by the way, they, you know how the first one had the rules, right? This one, they have different types of zombies. I should have mentioned that, but it's good that it's in the spoiler section. Um, there's the homers, which are stupid. Stupid ones. Oh! And then there's the the... The ninjas, which are smart, there's the, no, the Hawkings, which are smart, like Stephen Hawking, and the ninjas, which come out of nowhere and have, find weird ways to attack you. And then there's the T-800s, a new brand of zombie, stronger, faster, you know, they more bullet resistant, and they're the main enemy zombies that they face in this. And it turns out that Albuquerque and Flagstaff turn into T-800s, and eventually, with Alvaro Rosario Dawson, they are able to sort them off, and then they, there's some instruction to their vehicles, whatever, but they're able to, Tallahassee makes it very, very known that he does not like the minivan that they're traveling in. So, they finally find Babylon, which is where, like, peace-loving people live. It's a, It's got a barrier around it, it's supposed to be a safe haven. But there's no guns allowed. Uh, so there's no there's no guns allowed. So they have to give your guns up. And they melt them down. Tallahassee doesn't like that. But he just blew up the the car, the, the minivan. So they had to, had to give it up. He has nowhere else to go. So um, And they get there. They leave Rosario Dawson behind. Because I guess that's her home. But we see her again anyway. Don't worry. This is where the climax takes place. They get there. They're having a celebration. The zombies see it. And they go straight they head straight for the place. So they set up this trap where they take this hose, fill it with diesel, cut little holes in it, which I didn't think about at first, but they you know, wrap it around. It's like a trap, and they're gonna um, they're gonna set up a trap at the top. So uh, the stragglers, they're gonna set up the trap at the top to get the stragglers. So the thing. Boom, blows them up, they're ready to get the stragglers. None of them die. Which, I guess that could be a negative, but I didn't want to, because that's, this is part of the comic, so I don't want to put it in there, but I do call bullshit. At least a few would have been hurt by that. 
would have been would have died, but all of them are still alive. Bullshit. All right. And eventually they go up, <clears throat> and they're able to. Uh, Rosario Dawson comes in and she helps them, and then they corner him off, and Tallahassee leads them up. He hangs on this wrecking ball crane thing, and they all just gonna leap to their doom. Now, there's another problem. Again, it's in the spoiler section, so I didn't want really to put it in the part. It's another problem, though. If they survived fucking fire, then falling off a building, to me, I think being burned alive will be worse than falling off a building. Because falling off a building, you just, you won't feel no pain. You just die instantly. But fire is going to hurt the fuck out of you, all right? So fire is worse that's also one of my worst fears. But fire is worse than falling off a building. So they, if they survive fire, they should have survived falling off a goddamn building. All right? That's all I'm saying. But it's a movie. So, you know, don't hold that back. But, you know, they're, they're fine. They're safe. And they go on their separate ways. And they have a new little family now with, you know. Oh, by the way, uh, Berkeley, because, like, Little Rock tells Berkeley to fuck off, basically, because she got sick of him. And, uh, she does use her gun. Apparently, she snuck it and she forgot she had it. And she shoots the zombies that are holding on to Tallahassee's feet. And you think, oh, she's gonna die. They do a moment, though, like in the first one, where they think they're gonna die. I think Tallahassee's gonna die. They're all together, and that's when Rosario Dawson comes to the rescue. And she runs them over with the big, with the big, uh, not big wheel. The, um, what's it called? Um. Monster truck. Yeah. And she takes care of it. So, there's that. Um, like I said. So, then, after all this, Wichita says yes. They get married. And then they show them at the end. They're all in there except for... Because Berkeley and Madison get together, so she stays with them. Which is, she's a vegan, so it works. She can stay with them. Stay with the, the Babylon. And they got weed there, so if y'all want to get high, go to Babylon. But, um, so then the last scene shows them in Elvis's pink Cadillac, all five of them. And apparently, uh, it says just married on the back, so apparently they're married now, the two. But wait a minute, which ones though? Tallahassee and, and Reno, as she reveals herself, or... I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to be Wichita and Columbus. But yeah, they're married at the end. And then, song comes on. Alright? Burning love. Burning love. But not being sung by Elvis Presley. Oh no, I had to think about it. No. No, I actually had to look it up. It's Woody Harrelson singing it. I listened to that song now five times. I'm not one to repeat songs. And I did take a break. I, I listened to it three times between going from... The theater to High V and in High V, and then I changed it back to the my Spotify, and then when I got home, I listened to it two more times. So sue me. I love the song. Woody Harrelson is singing it, of course. Well, I like the Elvis version too, but you know what I mean. And but let's not forget, we got one more glorified cameo to get in, right? And whose cameo? God. Damn, Bill fucking Murray! That's right, he makes a comeback. Uh, during the movie, they mention, uh, or Reno, Nevada, mentions that someone got murrayed. And they, they have a term called murrayed, which means, you know, uh, who, someone who is mistaken, is, someone's killed who's mistaken, who's not a zombie, but is mistaken for a zombie. Murrayed. And she didn't, she didn't know that Columbus didn't. I don't think she ever gets told. But like, the uh, what the the Brendan Love song starts playing, and Dusty Eisman comes on. There's a voiceover and says, "You know what? For those of you, here's a treat. Let's go back to 2009." And it's it's apparently <laughs> apparently in this world there was a Garfield three, uh, Tubby, Tubby or some uh, something like that. I don't know. Uh, but they're printed with the Garfield 3, he's doing press for it, and people start turning into zombies. So what happens? Bill fucking Murray is killing zombies with a steel chair while 
I'm alright. Don't got worry about me. Plays in the background. That's right. He's killing zombies with a steel chair, but a song from Caddyshack plays in the background. Better cameo than his than one in the first movie. God damn. But yeah, okay. And that's how it ends. It goes back to the song, and then I left the theater because I don't think there's anything at the end. So maybe there was. I don't remember. Oh, Bill Murray again, just doing outtakes or something. But that's all it was. But yeah, guys, like I said, this gets a nine out of ten for me. I really enjoy this movie. If you have you seen it, if you have, leave your thoughts in the comment below. You know, for those of you. That's spoiler, spoiler free. I don't know. I don't care. Just uh, people watching this and you want to read the comments, don't read the comments until you finish watching this. And if you, you know, okay, this is the end of the video, but <clears throat> let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Like, share, and subscribe. And of course, thank you very much.